Good day, mighty warriors and brave adventurers. It is I, Tink the Barbarian. Now, this recording that you're seeing right now, it got messed up a little bit, and I didn't really want to waste the footage. So I'm kind of going to turn it into a vlog a little bit. I'm going to talk a little bit about my personal life, what's going on inside this video, and maybe a little bit on what I'm going to do with the, uh, with the YouTube channel that I have going on. So in this video, I am playing with Corner Sky and Dot Com Robots who are actually in my previous Sea of Thieves video. And then instead of Jack, we have Star. Now he does have a, another part to his name, but I can't pronounce it, so I, I know I'm gonna butcher it, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it at Star. But anyway, so we're at this, po at this point, we're being harassed by this uh, crew of two and a small ship. And we already killed them once, and we moved on because, you know, we kill them once. Let's give them a chance to recover and go their own way. But they're not leaving us alone. So eventually they'll catch up to us and then you'll see us engage them again. And we do destroy their ship. It, it, it was a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they were annoying, but it, but it was pretty fun. Okay, so here's what happened to this video. Now, I have, I'm playing on my Xbox One and... I had changed a setting on there so people can hear my other crewmates talk louder. Because in my previous video, they're a little quiet. It's, I mean, you can hear them, but it's a little difficult. And I wanted to change that. So I ch ended up changing a setting, which I, um, through the Xbox, I could hear them louder. And I had no idea. I should have tested it, too. I, I really wish I did. But, see, the thing is... After I recorded it, thinking everything was all hunky-dory, I go to listen to the playback, and I can't hear a thing. I mean, I was getting no sound or anything. Um, I turned, I turned up the volume on the uh, my headset, and all the way up, then I could hear something, but it was only me talking, and I could barely hear the game itself. Now, all the other volume settings on my computer, it, they're all up at 100%. And I'm, I'm trying to do different settings. I go through troubleshooting. And I, I can't figure it out. And for the last two days of the beta, I, I just couldn't bring myself to play. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, why don't you just keep recording? And once you get the sound fixed, then edited your videos. Well, see, I thought about that too, you know, after the beta, because I'm a slow thinker, leave me alone. <laughs> uh, but so I, I do get the sound fixed, right? And here, on the, I get it fixed after the beta, by the way. But here, I can't hear my crew members now. So on the video, you hear, you hear everything perfectly. You hear the game. You hear me, I, you know, everything sounds great. But now it's like I'm talking to myself. Now, granted, you do understand that I'm I'm not talking to myself. You can, I mean, you just, it's just a one-sided conversation you can hear, which can get very annoying. And yes, uh, against Captain Orders, these guys were irritating me so much, I grabbed the wheel and I said, no, we're finishing these guys off. And we do finish them off. But anyway, back to my issue. So all you guys were going to get is one side of the conversation that I'm having with everyone else. And that's not exactly fun to listen to. I've been on that end. It sucks. Uh, now, if I was explaining the game and I was playing by myself that way, that's not so bad. But I was actually talking to the other crew members. So... It, it was it would have been annoying, and I didn't like, I didn't like it, you know. So I decided, well, instead of just wasting this video, I why don't I just turn it into a vlog? I mean, my little brother who does YouTube, he says uh, people like hearing about other people's life, so I figured, you know what? It's better than just trashing it, so why not? The only thing of it is is during this session, we were having a great time cracking jokes, 
hooting, hollering at the players. We're trying to, you know, make us make them leave us alone. Finding treasure, all of that. I mean, we were having such a blast. So it it really does irritate me that I couldn't use any of the original sound, you know? But anyway, so let's get into my personal life a little bit. I mean, this is a vlog, so uh, let's go ahead. Now, before I get into too much, um, if you guys like my videos, any of them, this one, the other ones, if you don't like this one, but like the other ones, you know, go ahead, push that like button, go ahead, subscribe, let me know. And uh, if you guys have any ideas for other videos you would like to see me do and whatnot, again, comment section, let me know. That's what it's there for. So anyway, this message here pops up and we have no idea what it means. We've never seen it before and we're kind of freaking out a little bit because like, oh, did they add something in the game? What's going on? What's happening? Here we just switched servers. So, <laughs> but for a good little bit, we were kind of like, Oh my gosh, what's going on? Are we going to see a cool ship NPC type of, you know, public battle type thing in this beta? Which don't would have been awesome, but no, we were just switching servers. So currently I work at a factory. Uh, what the factory does is they make vehicle parts, you know, for like cars, semis, trucks, uh, bobcats, that sort of thing. And it's been going pretty well. I've been there for almost two years now. It'll be about two years in May. And I like the people I'm working with. They're a bunch of fun chaps. I mean, uh, there's a couple times where if there's a mold that's bad, because what we do is we put sand cores, which is basically just the shape of what we're trying to make, and we put it into these dirt molds. Well, if the mold is bad, someone has to go to one end and mark it bad. And there's this one guy that when he goes down there, or if, if you tell him that there's a bad mold, I should say, um, we'll give each other the finger. It's like one middle finger and a, uh, downwards thumb asking, is it just one bad or I'll put up, I'll put up two middle fingers if that's too bad. But, uh, usually it's just the one that's bad. Um, if there's a whole line that's bad, I'll, I'll put up one middle finger and then four fingers or two middle fingers and then five fingers just to let them know that it could be one, it could be five, it could be the whole stretch. But um, <laughs> it's kind of a running joke that we do. We flick each other off all the time at this place. It, it gets pretty fun. And then there was another time we were working down at the um, on the line there. And um, the if a mold is... There's this one job where we're kind of walled off from everyone else by racks. and But everyone would be able to hear us if you start yelling and shouting. So I get done putting the sand cores in the one mold. And all of a sudden the guy next to me is like, oh, dude, this is a bad mold. Take him out. So I'm like, what the F are you talking about? Why couldn't you F and tell me sooner? And he's like, because I didn't want to. And I go, well, you should have F and did. What the F? He's like, why are you swearing? Because it's effing fun. And uh, <laughs> we yell like that for a little bit. And our supervisor comes down. He kind of looks behind the rack like, what the hell is going on? And uh, I'm just, I look at him. Hey, boss man. We're just, you know, have fun. We're not really angry with each other. It's okay. And he just, he shakes his head and walks away. It was, that was a good day. That was pretty fun. But that's how we joke around at that place. I mean, it's, we know, we can tell if it's a joke yelling or not. And it, it's just a lot of fun. Now in this scene, we actually noticed a boat come up. And so we're hiding to see what the guy would do. And sure enough, like you see right now, he's trying to steal our boat. So, and then we end up trying to catch his boat. But he ends up, uh... He ends up, obviously he spawns back on it and then he starts running and he crashes into some rocks and whatnot. So we end up leaving him alone because, well, he's he's not going to mess with us anymore or so we thought. We're not going to mess with him because he's repairing, his sail is up. It's like he's surrendering. So he's like, ah, we'll just leave him alone. It's all good. But after a while, once we get to this island and everyone else but me goes goes to it to search for the chest... I figured, you know, I'd stay and uh, make sure no one steals our ship. 
Well, my Xbox starts lagging hardcore for some reason. And I'm trying to figure out what a certain sound is because I keep hearing this weird sound. And all of a sudden, I see this guy rowing up our anchor. And it's not one of our crews. So I keep, and I can hear everyone else on the island. And I just start shouting, hey guys, there's someone on the boats. They're still on the ship. Someone's still on the ship. And the other people don't hear a thing from me. So I end up having to go through Xbox, uh, the profile and whatnot, and sending Corner a message saying, hey, I'm lagging out hardcore. I can't do a thing because someone's stealing our ship. And all of a sudden, over the headset, I hear, crap, someone's on our ship. Tink can't do nothing about it. We got to go get our ship. Get her ship. Make sure it's, make sure they don't take it. And somehow I survived that horror, whole ordeal with my and the the gang finally kicks me out. And I spawn back in, and we're actually this boat right that you see. That's the guy that tried stealing this ship. <laughs> and they all my crew members got on, obviously, as you can tell. And we we just start taking after the ship, and we do get it, and. For the rest of the gameplay, I am grinning ear to ear, guys. I mean, I was so tickled pink, I couldn't believe we got two ships. Because we're sailing around with both these ships now. And, oh, it was so much fun and it pisses me off that I lost the audio for this whole thing. Because this had to have been the funnest part of the video. So anyway, um, I'm currently in a relationship right now. A uh, beautiful woman and it's been going great i mean i am really happy and as far as i can tell so is she i mean we talk she tells me so so i'm i'm gonna go ahead and assume that she's really happy because she tells me she's really happy so screw it <laughs> that's how i'm perceiving it all right but anyway so i go visit my dad one day and i you know we catch up on the on what's been going on, you know, work and all that. And I tell him, you know, I'm in a relationship right now. He's like, oh, good. Uh, what does she do for a living? So I go on, on to tell him that, you know, she helps the handicapped and whatnot. And he looks at me and he goes, well, that's perfect. Now you have a little extra help. And I just look at him and I'm like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, but, you know, it was a sweet burn. So I give him a fist bump and I... You know, I let him know, hey, that, I, I don't know what to tell you. That was a really good burn. I, I hate you. <laughs> and so I also go on to tell him, well, uh, she has a four-year-old. And he looks at me, oh, that's perfect. Not only can she help you, but now you have someone your age to play with. And I just, God damn it, Dad. That was really good. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> and we're, we're just having a good old laugh. And we're, we're actually sitting in his, uh, his what I would call a true man cave. I mean, he's got a little wood stove to heat it up. It, he actually just finished it up not too long ago. I, mean, I think he might have a little bit more work to it, but it looks pretty damn nice. It used to actually be the workshop, which it, that does have its workshop stuff in it still. It's just now it looks nicer in there and it's got, it's got it heated. He's got cabinets in it. And on his one wall, which he actually he walled off the barn part, he has a bunch of his uh, deer trophies, his antlers, from hunts that he went on. Just whitetail hunts in the backyard. He's He owns like 40 acres, so he goes hunting there. And he has, and does his little uh, deer mounts it, it on that wall. Oh! And oh! It's, it's all no! wood. He's what got are you a, doing? You know, glass you cupboards doing? Up above and the cabinets down below. He's got little bar stools. I mean, it looks pretty nice in there. I'm, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> I mean, it, it does look good. But anyway, so, yeah, I mean, that's that's a little bit about that. Um, I know this month she wants to go up to Duluth, mostly because she wants to take her son to the Children's Science Museum. It was supposed, that's supposed to be his Christmas present. And uh, she invited me with. And I want to go, because the last time I went to a child's museum, sure, I was little. But it was a lot of fun. So we're going to actually go on my birthday weekend. And I got that Friday off. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking. I'm very much looking forward to it. And I'll, uh, I'll see what I can uh, do for a vlog about it. Maybe I'll be able to get some footage. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah. Um, 
I'm looking forward to it. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. But anyway, that's a little about me and a little into my life. Um, the rest of my vlogs aren't going to be this long. Like I said, I didn't want to waste the footage. So my next vlogs will be shorter. They'll probably be once a month. Um, if you like this video, go ahead, like it, subscribe, watch my other videos. If you didn't, like, hopefully you'll like them and hopefully you'll subscribe. But until the next time, have fun guys and I will see you next time when I play a video game.